This tutorial shows the step-by-step -step instructions for this lesson in the Omega Learning Guide. At the end of this lesson, your job should look something like this. To begin, select the Polygon tool from the Construction toolbar. Click anywhere on the work surface. The Polygon dialog box will open. Select Polygon as the definition type. Enter 4 for the number of sides and turn on Pointed Top, then click OK. Click the Selection tool to select the diamond. Click Shape Absolute Size. The Absolute Size dialog box will open. Choose Uniform and enter a height of 1.5 and press the Tab key on the keyboard. The Length text box is automatically updated. Click OK when you are finished. With the star selected, click Tools Repeats Merge. The Repeats Merge dialog box will open. Enter 2 in the X Repeats text box and also in the Y Repeats text box. Choose Gap in the Spacing box and enter 20.5 for the X value and 6 for the Y value, then click OK. With the diamond still selected, click Arrange Group. Select the Text on the Work Surface tool from the Toolbox toolbar. Scroll to find Windsor Bold in the font list. Double-click the font height and type 2, then press Enter. Click anywhere on the work surface. Type Lily in capital letters, then press Enter. Then type Plaza. Click the Selection tool to select the text. With the text selected, click Arrange Group. Click Select All. Then click Arrange Justify. Click the Horizontal and Center Justify buttons, then click OK. Select the diamonds with the Selection tool. Click Tools Surround Extract Image Paths. The Option Selection dialog box will open. Select Surround, then click OK. The Create Surround Shape dialog box will open. Enter 0.5 for the margin, then click OK. Select the new border shape and click Tools Outline. The Outline dialog box will open. Select Round for the corner type and enter 0.5 for the outline distance. Make sure the Hide Originals checkbox is not selected and click OK. Select both the surround border and the outline. Click the Fill tool to open the Assigned Colors dialog box. Choose Gradient in the Fill Type box and choose Linear from the list. Choose Spot in the Color Type box and enter 0 for the linear angle. In the color box, choose Beige. Click the right end gradient box once to make it active or black. Enter 60 for the tint percentage. Choose Dark Green to assign that foil to the active color stop. The gradient should now be Beige to Dark Green. Click OK to apply the gradient fill to the box. Select just the outline using the Selection tool. Click Shape in Place Flip X. This will flip both the shape and the gradient. Click View Filled or press F8 to preview the colors. With the outline still selected, click the Stroke tool from the Toolbox toolbar. The Assign Colors dialog box will open. Select Solid as the Stroke type and select Dark Green as the color. Set the Stroke Attributes Width to 0.1, then click OK. Select the diamonds and the text using the Selection tool. Click the Fill tool to open the Assign Colors dialog box. Choose Clear as the fill type. This allows the vinyl color to be the fill, in this case white. Click the Stroke tab and select Solid as the stroke type. Select Black as the color and set the Stroke Attributes Width to 0.05, then click OK. With the diamonds and text still selected, click Arrange to Front. Select the diamonds, the text, and the surround border, not the outline, with the Selection tool. Click Arrange Cuts Off. Click View Filled or press F8 to preview the job. Remember to save your file when you are finished. This concludes this lesson. Be sure to check if there are any exercises or tip videos associated with this lesson before continuing. For more information on this and other topics, please consult the Omega Help file or press F1 in Composer.